uh, start by taking this question. Uh, Sumedha asks, what is the difference between construct and variable? Okay, so construct and variable, uh, again, let me just go to the whiteboard. Uh, Sumedha construct, Variable is nothing, sorry, uh, variable is nothing but in, in our uh, language, we will call these as the measures, the variables are nothing but operationalized construct. So if I have to give you a definition, variable is nothing but operationalized That means we the number that we are numbers being captured through measures, right? Through our measures. So variable is always going to be used in empirical studies, right? So that is what we mean by uh, yes. Rejecting H naught does not mean we are accepting H naught. Uh, Silky, no. Rejecting H naught actually means Rejecting H naught okay. So rejecting H naught actually means that you are going to accept H1 and not H naught. So when we reject H naught, that means we are accepting H1. Our constituent concepts of a construct called attributes or variables. So Abhishek asks our constituent concepts of a construct called attributes. So they will be called as attributes. So Abhishek, it will be called as attribute. As I mentioned, variables are actually uh, sorry. Variables variables are nothing but operationalized construct. Okay, so that they do not uh, mean mm -hmm. attribute. So each attribute can be uh, when it, you measure, it will be a different thing. Uh, Nirja will talk about where do we find items for constructs. Okay, and Measurement, uh, uh, Rachna asks, what is the difference between concept and uh, construct? So that is a good question. Let me just uh, mention. Concept is any idea, is any uh, phenomena that you are interested in. And when we look at, when we talk about construct, we say constructs are again phenomena that are going to be, to be studied in a scientific way. Manner. Okay, so that is the the difference between concept. So concept and construct are actually used interchangeably. But whenever we are going to look at uh, our uh, uh, scientific studies, right? We usually use the word constructs. 
right which are actually nothing but concepts they are talking about different ideas but it only means that we are going to look at these constructs or these ideas in a scientific manner so they are quite interchangeable so to be multiple dimensions no it is not necessary though we see most of the uh, constructs that we look at are have multiple dimensions but it is not necessary you can have single dimensions or you can have multiple dimensions so that is possible but all that all depends upon theory so we'll come to that when we talk about measured okay so difference between dimensions and variables uh, okay so let me just uh, put it up here uh, so when we look at when we look at constructs they can be either single dimension or you can have multiple multiple dimensions okay you can have multiple what are dimensions multiple attributes okay and this is a single attribute now each of these when you measure your single dimension you will get a single variable whereas when you measure multiple dimensions you will get multiple variables right so remember the difference between concept and as or uh, construct conceptualization conceptualization will tell you whether it will be single dimension or whether it will be multiple dimension and when you will operationalize you will get variables right if it is a single dimension then you will have single variable if you have multiple dimension you will have multiple variables using previously used uh, okay so so uh, gyan uh, bahadur just hold on when we come to scale development we'll talk about what it means to take items from previous research and what we uh, mean when we right? yes so this is a very good example vijay has mentioned so intelligence as an idea is a construct motivation as an idea is a construct motivation is a construct intelligence is a construct engagement is a construct prejudice is a construct self esteem is a construct right consumer behavior is a construct quality is a construct but then when we have scales to measure them we assign through the measures through the scales that we develop we have now been able to assign numbers and these measured constructs are called as variables right so when we have measurement then they will become variable what is variable variable is nothing but anything that varies right what is the definition of variable anything that varies and what varies what varies numbers vary right so when you have assigned numbers now that those numbers can vary for different people and therefore we call this as variables right so yeah 